So we are into March and the show scene is about to kick in. So all the camper van festivals, uh, everything is uh, full steam ahead, I think, for this year, which is like really good news for us. Um, so yeah, I was just going to um, say that we're like literally not that far away from the first one, which is the Yorkshire Motorhome Show, which is the 17th and uh, to the 19th of March. So uh, everything is starting to pe propel in pretty quick. Has anybody got their tickets for that then? Um, so basically, I'm kind of like this week, I'm kind of like, I need to uh, start sorting out some uh, some of the things that I'm, I'm do supposed to be doing this year. Because some of these shows, uh, believe it for me, Believe it for me, if you are like a newbie or whatever, some of these shows, if you fancy it at a last minute, some of the entertainment gets swallowed up super quick. So it's always good to get a good head start on some of these events. So it's always worth checking out the Warners um, website, get get the information, read it all through, see what's um, attractive for you if you want to go to one of these festivals. I love my Shepton Mallet, so it's local to us. It's our local festival and... Uh, We've had some very incredible uh, entertainment in the past uh, at Sheps and Mallet. Um, and th so obviously s some of the really good entertainment, you've got a book and you pay a little bit extra uh, of a supplement for that. I'm, gonna ju I'm just going to throw up a screenshot of the festivals, um, the Warner shows that are coming up this year. So we have got, up it goes on the screen, and we have got, like I say before, the Yorkshire Motorhome and Campervan Show, which is uh, the 17th and 19th of March. The next one is the National at the East of England Showground, which is into the 21st, 23rd of April. And uh, then we are into the uh, South of England Showground, the Campervan Campout, which is a new, brand new one from Warner's. So that's worth having a check out of that. That. Um, just going to swiftly kind of move on through this and uh, another one that we pretty well enjoy is the Newbury so we've done Newbury a quite a few times which is then into May 19th 21st of May 23 and um, so that's along the, so uh, a bit of a more of a reachable along the M4 for us um, at Devon and uh, up the M5 so uh, another one that's quite accessible um, so obviously the Yorkshire ones some of these are uh, not so accessible for us but uh, anyway uh, moving on Newark Showground is the retro rock and roll weekend uh, so a massive weekend up there which is kicking on into 9th and 11th of June um, another amazing weekend then it is the Norfolk showground the Norfolk motorhome and campervan show 21st 23rd of July uh, so there's a nice little overview of them ones moving on so the next ones are uh, some of our so there are lo more more local the Mulvern uh, so but uh, depending um, we keep that one a little bit flexible in August because um, sometimes we're actually away on motorhome trips so you got to try and work out what you're doing a little bit but uh, we're always back um, for the Shepton Mallet which is the next one on but yeah so the Western uh, Motorhome Campervan show is the 18th 20th of August 23 at uh, Mulvern and uh, Three County Showground so then moving on which is our massive fail I've just booked it this week so I'm super excited um, I'll show you the uh, what the details are on that show in a minute um, so Shepton is the um, 8th to the 10th of September 23 at uh, Bath and West Showground Shepton Mallet um, and the finale weekend, uh, so they, um, yeah, they, they always call it the uh, show season finale motorhome, which is the Lincoln, massive show at Lincoln, 22nd, 24th September. And uh, then the last one, we, which we really enjoyed last year, 29th of um, September to the 1st of October, which is the Mulvern, again, three county showground, which uh, we had a fantastic weekend up there last year and uh, outstanding entertainment and uh, the Warners guys put on some great shows if you've not been before and fancy it I guarantee you'll have a fantastic weekend from traders entertainment they lay on um, 
transport to visit places around the area, things like that. So much to see and do. It's um, really good uh, value for money. What I'm gonna do, I'll just throw up another shot of the more of the details. So when you go on their website and then you open up their webpage on a certain show, um, you'll get all the, uh, the, the relevant information, exactly where the location is and uh all the information about so when we go to Shepton Mallet reading on this um, the, the pictures are available from Thursday so you can actually um, rock up on the Thursday uh, the 7th of September and stay till Monday the 11th of September so um, and Basically, in here, uh, there's um, uh, advanced bookings close on the 23rd of August. And uh, if you want to, pitches on arrival will cost £20 more and, and are subjected to availability. These shows are getting absolutely super busy, super busy. And uh, I can assure you that um, you don't want to like, if you, if you fancy one and really like, like we sort of like, I've got to get in there, I don't want to miss it, I'll be devastated. But um, yeah, so always make sure um, you do a little bit of planning um, on these. Uh, so the general camping, uh, the if you rock up on the Thursday for that amount of time, it's 80 pounds for the weekend. Uh, you can get, you can read on there, uh, electricity hookup, um, which is 1.30 for the time, and uh, Friday, 127, so you have a pitch and an electric um, EHU hookup. Um, so you can get in, you get a little bit of discount if you're camping with a uh, club uh, so you can see there the Thursday 78 pounds and uh, the Friday is 75 pounds next one it just shows the fact that oh if you want to um, additional occupants um, so extra people extra charge th things like that um, charges and we always look the Saturday night entertainment tickets. So if you're looking to um, get the best entertainment for the Saturday night, always check out and get your tickets in advance. The tickets this year look, will be 15 pounds um, for the adults and 750 for children. And uh, believe me, it gets absolutely massive it's it's capacitied in there for these events because it's so good um the entertainment quality is uh, outstanding uh, take it from me you will not be this for 15 pounds a ticket it's um a super nice entertainment and this is what they've actually got at um shepton mallet this year it's money for nothing so obviously it's uh, going to be a bit of a door straight see kind of theme uh, the animals three and then they've got a meatloaf tribute so if uh, any of them kind of blows your boat and uh, get in there quick get your tickets i've got mine i've got mine i don't want to miss out i want my tickets and uh, yeah so and again look you can see the the final thing on that um that shot there is the coach trip tickets to the Clark's Outlet Village. Um, so if you want to go on an excursion on the Friday, it is, it is um, 15 pounds per person return and you'll be out for best part of the day, 10 to 3 p.m. So um, it's great. It's all round if you want to get out of the site, um, go and visit some stuff around the area. I think they normally do one to um, Shepton Mallet as well. They might, might have a shuttle bus going to Shepton Mallet. I normally get an ambulance out. I'm just going to throw up as well on the screen this uh, new, uh, brand new for this year uh, at the South of England showground in uh, Ardingley uh, for our brand new campervan festival from Warners. And uh, it looks like a it's going to be a massive weekend. Um, they have got uh, uh, the legendary like Craig Charles up there. They've got a campervan shopping village, artisan food and drink hall, wellness sanctuary, van life hub, street food, gin festival and silent disco. Um, all sorts of different things going on up there. It looks like it's going to be a real massive uh, weekend up there. And um, so it's another one. If you fancy this one, I should imagine it's going to be uh, pretty rapid on the tickets um, so let's see what happens and uh, yeah plenty going on up there looks like a real uh, 
outstanding weekend and like i say get in early book your tickets up um this looks like it could be a, a, a real massive one. Oh, so the other one i was just going to mention uh so anybody that's been to the nec uh over the last um so last weekend it finished uh, that run up um if anybody's been up there you've probably got the same email as me uh to get your early bird tickets for the show which is in october um 17 uh to the 22nd of october 23 so um, they're offering early bird tickets and uh, I've literally I'm like yeah I might because uh, we always go I need to get in super early let's get my tickets early and I've literally clicked on book my tickets and uh, it's coming in like not 950 a ticket there's a little bit of booking fee so I think it's like just over 20 pounds for a ticket to the NEC show and we all know how busy how busy was that show um, on the Sunday when the, the final day when we attended it was m absolutely mad up there for people it's just getting um going from leaps to bounds and the one in october is always a it seems to us is like always a bit more of a massive one than uh, the, the the one that's just been um so yeah another little bit of a voice for me if you've just been to that show um then it's your first show uh, at the nec and uh, you fancy going again get your tickets booked m majorly early as um just don't forget because I, I tend I'm, I'm just like you know a lot of people um, I've had to sort of like kick myself up the uh, this year just like we really, we really enjoy it and then the next thing it's kind of like oh my god the tickets are oh this this hopefully and um, yeah so um, and I think it might have actually been sold out was it sold out uh, there, there was um, yeah I think it was getting close to uh, selling out and obviously the, um, there, it's all pre-booked tickets now as well uh, so um, little bit of advice for me i think that's it i, I just want to do um, just chuck that out there so any like newbie people that um fancies uh, a, a great motor home orientated weekend get to yourself to one of these shows and you will not be disappointed we just um we just love it the, let's say the entertainment everybody's in the same frame of mind you meet incredible people at these shows and uh me i've normally by the end of the show I've, i haven't got any voice left because i'm always like singing and shouting and um, uh, talking to people um does he ever stop right i'm gonna leave it there guys thanks for watching this video give us a thumbs up tell us which one your best show is um we've so some of these other shows do we need to go to norfolk uh, what are them shows like um tell us what they're like uh we need to know that what's your favorite show um and uh, what what sort of entertainment do you like are you coming to shepton mallet we'll see you at shepton mallet we'll catch you in a bit thanks for watching bye for now